Gone again. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Yes, sir. What, uh, what are we two doing here? We're doing our breathing exercises. <laughs> <laughs> you silly little guinea pig. Unfair. It makes me go all goosey. That must be very delightful for you. Here. What are these? Here are the tickets. For us. For us? Mm -hmm. For the night. It's a lovely play. Rather sloppy. A married woman has a baby in it. It's awfully funny. And then, of course, no one believes her. And it's terrible at the end where they're dressing the Christmas tree and she looks through the window and the snow's falling. But of course it's only paper, really. Is that all? No, but I'm not going to tell you the rest where her husband comes back and finds her, because that's a surprise. Aren't you forgetting something? No, I don't think so. Aren't you forgetting that my train goes in quarter of an hour? Oh, your train. Sometimes I think you have steam in your veins instead of blood. Why can't you spend just one little evening with me? Because without my help, there are 15 passengers who will not be able to go to bed. Oh, no, my pretty. In five minutes from now, I've got to be on duty. Fancy asking a girl to play second fiddle to a train. 
Don't confuse business with pleasure. Is that your last word? I'm afraid so. Really your last word? Really my last word. Are you quite sure? Absolutely sure. That takes me off. Come and kiss me goodbye. Oh, what's the matter now? Are you still angry? Mm. What is it? Because I hate so. I'll soon deal with that. <laughs> goodbye. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't. What now? I want to hate you again. What on earth? My husband. Your husband? Oh, that's charming. You have a husband too? Shh, not very often. He's always away, except when I don't want him. Well, he's chosen just the right moment to arrive. I must go. You can't. But what will happen to me? He'll go away if no one got a key. Well, then I'll give him mine when I leave. What sort of a man is he? An all-in wrestler. They call him the slaughterer. What are you up to? Husband. Well, if you'll bend over, I'll play being fathers. Oh, oh, no, no, she told me to do it. Oh, Gaston, don't be cross. I only wanted to keep you for a little longer than between trains. So that was your brilliant idea. You're very clever, my dear. Look, darling, eat this. It will give you indigestion. Goodbye. But Gaston! I see you 1.20 on Thursday. Yes, between 1.20 and 1.35, I suppose. Dry your eyes, my little guinea pig. The less we see of each other, the longer it will last. Goodbye. Goodbye.
We've known each other for six months, Stevie. And during the whole of that time, how long do you think we've spent together? Is that the riddle? I give it up. Five hours, twenty-two and a half minutes. And always between trains. <laughs> that takes me off. But can't you forget your train just for one? For me? Dry your eyes, my little sweetheart. The less we see of each other, the longer it will last. What's the matter? Oh. Pretty! Oh. Ice tag, ice tag. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought you were on your way to Bucharest. I was, madame, but I changed my mind. And besides, I wanted so much to see how the little dog was. You know, it's sometimes very upsetting for little dogs to be flown from trains. Hotel Atlantic, please. doing here? Your bag, madame. Would madame like anything further? Yes. I'd like to be alone. You wouldn't like me undo your bag? I wouldn't like anything undone, thank you. lost your way, haven't you? No, I just found it. <laughs> Maisie, Maisie. Is that the way to show your gratitude? I ask you, as one dog to another, is it quite polite, you think? Do you realize that if it wasn't for me, you would now be speeding in the train to Bucharest without your little mistress? And you, madame, haven't I jumped from a moving train for your sake and left my poor old toothbrush to travel without a protector? If ever a woman was in debt to a man, you are. I'm sure we're very grateful. Then prove it. How? Start by spending the evening with me. I shouldn't dream of such a thing. Yes, you would. Afterwards. What time shall I call for you? Seven o'clock? No. Five past? No. Ten minutes past. Now then, going at ten minutes past seven for the last time. Going, going. No. In that case, goodbye. I'll split the difference and make it quarter past seven. No. Goodbye. Monsieur. Oh. 
Not so bad. There you are. Four shillings. No, seven shillings for the evening. You said four. Sure, four for the coat. But you also want the waistcoat, the pants, the collar, the shirt, the tie. Listen, I'll give you the studs for nothing. You win. There's a good boy. Now I want 38 shillings deposit. 38 shillings deposit? Why don't you trust me? Would you trust me? No. Well? You get the money back in the morning, providing that you return the suit without any dirt or spots on it. And don't forget, don't go to sleep with that suit. You give this to the hall porter. He'll give you the money. Ah, but will he do it? Well, of course he will. My name is known from Paris to Constantinople. If he doesn't lose it, I'm coming right back for my coat. Good evening. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty is thirty-eight. Good evening. Good evening, Potter. Ah, I wanted you, sir. Yeah, you want me? Uh, not for long, I hope. I've just paid thirty-eight shillings for you. You have? Oh, well, you'll, you'll get the money in the morning. Oh, no, you don't. If it's all the same to you, I'll have it now, sir. I've lost a lot of money by waiting till the morning. You can keep the change. Much obliged, sir. I hope you'll have a pleasant evening. I hope so, too. Hello? Yes? Right, put me through. Hello, hello, is, th is that you? I have something to tell you. Hello? I can't hear anything. Why don't you stop that noise? Where are you? I'm at the French Embassy, an important diplomatic dinner. Oh, no, there are no children. Oh, no, those are the Chinese delegates oh, on a secret mission. No, I'm, I'm afraid I shan't be able to get away. Hello. Hello. I tell you, I shan't be able to join you. Oh, well, tell me when we meet. Listen. We'll dine in some smart little place, and then um, we'll have a box at the opera, if you like that sort of thing. 
And after that... Upstairs. Oh, thank you. What time shall I call you? Quarter past seven. Tomorrow evening. Gaston, I thought you'd gone for good. Did you notice I wasn't here? Have a brain. Listen, have I ever let you down? Not much. Then what did you say? <laughs> My boy, I fooled them properly. Yes, but what did you say? We must have the same story. <laughs> You'll die when I tell you. Uh, Gaston, back already? Your ladies in number 13 have been in dismay. Uh -huh. I hope everything went off all right. Well, it did and it didn't. No complications? Is it painful? Oh, hurt like the devil. Sie mir sagen, ob ich von Dortmund aus Anschluss nach Köln habe? Einen Augenblick, Madame. Also, Züge zwischen Köln und Dortmund verkehren beinahe jede Stunde. Dankeschön. Bitte sehr. Was it a girl or a boy? Well, sir, uh, it was twins. Twins, eh? Well, that's too good. Uh, yes, I thought it was a bit much myself. A very probable story. Well, we'll see what the directors have to say about this. What did you tell him? Well, I, I said that you had an aunt and that she had a baby and... Oh, go and buy yourself a brain. Oh, I see. Oh, madame, I expect that you... I mean that I... I want to explain. Explain what? Why I didn't keep that little date we made. Date? You must be dreaming. What are you talking about? Nothing of any consequence. Tickets, please. I'm sorry, madame. This seems to be a ticket for Dartmoor. Merci, madame. luggage. The staff on this train is absolutely hopeless. What was that? I don't know. Unless it was a kiss. 
Are you mad? No, you hit me twice. I'm one down on you. For my pains. Twenty marks? You're too generous, madame. I'd have done it for half the money. Oh, how Good morning, madame. Good morning. I hope madame has slept well. Very well indeed, thank you. What are you waiting for? I thought madame would like you to help. Madame, I don't wish to alarm you, but an appalling thing happened last night. Appalling? Do you mean somebody died? Or worse. An accident? In a way. Well, haven't you better tell me? A poor young man. Fell off the train? No. Fell in love. Permanently, hopelessly in love with you. Isn't it awful? It is rather awful for the poor young man. Oh, I see. His brass button. Oh, by the way, I want you to send this telegram for me. With pleasure, Adam. Just a minute. My writing's so bad, I think you'd better read it. I don't want to be misunderstood. Is it clear? Very clear, madame. One might almost say too clear. <laughs> How are you, baby? Hello, where are you? Oh, oh, oh there you are. I, I thought you looked different. <laughs> I see, um, You've no idea how surprised I was to get your wire. Oh, where have you been? Vienna. Bless my soul, you went to Vienna just for one day. Well, you don't suppose I was going to answer this last summons when I, when I haven't answered the three previous ones, do you? Oh, Anne, you'll drive yourself into prison one of these days. Hello, my little sweetheart. Oh, so darling, and it's fine. Kiss me. K kiss you? Yes, kiss me. But what would the station master say? Kiss me. But why do you want me to do in public what you won't let me do in private? Do as I tell you. Put your arms round me and kiss me. Can't you do any better than that? Here, what's the matter with you? You've never been so sloppy before. Oh, dry up and get on with the kissing. What are you doing? K -k kissing you? Well, go and see to my luggage. Where's the conductor? Sorry to interrupt um, a love's young dream, uh, but a lady wants to see you, young man. A lady wants me? Uh, excuse me, darling, my official duties, you know. You wanted me? Not particularly. Anyone would have done. Uh, Pierre? Why, Pierre? You said anyone would have done. Oh, don't be silly. There is one thing I'd like to know. Oh, oh, Baron, uh, 
Be a darling and uh, and get me the matter, will you? Uh, the matter? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Why you didn't turn up in Vienna? But, madame, I tried to tell you, but uh, the, uh, the, the matter, my dear. I never said the matter. I, I said the Figaro. Oh, I'll forget my own name next. Figaro. Oh, I just remembered. I, I have one in my pocket. Isn't that funny? Very. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Gaston. I packed in rather a hurry. If you should find anything I'd left behind, would you send it along or, or bring it to my house? Baron, be a darling and give him my address, will you? Oh, uh, yes, 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 of course, of course. Uh, I say, tell me, have, uh, uh, have you got a pencil? Yes. Oh, good, thank you. Thank you. Uh, would you mind putting my eyeglass in my eye? I'm so terribly short-sighted. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. That was a fine girl you were mm, talking to just now. You've excellent taste. I'm a bit of a judge in these matters. <laughs> Gaston, I have orders from head office to dismiss you. They didn't swallow those twins. You're out from now. Collect your wages at the bureau. Good day. Is anything wrong, darling? To the devil with the whole female sex. Except one, Gaston. Yes, except just one. Good morning, Albert. Oh, please, Anne, don't you drive. Why not let the chauffeur do what he's paid for? Be quiet and get in the back with me, Dick. Oh, all right, Anne, all right, if you insist. But Anne... And if you don't care what happens to me, surely you'll think of poor Maisie. Are you suggesting that I'm a bad driver? No, but you always seem to think the streets of Paris are racetracks. That's why you've already 73 charges for... Disregarding the traffic regulations of the Paris police, in that the accused widow, Anne Howard, nationality British, has on three occasions failed to appear before the justices, and on the fourth avoided compulsion by leaving the country, Judgment has been given in default. Anne Howard is charged on the following counts. Unauthorized parking, 16 occasions. Disregarding traffic signal, 31 occasions. Assault on a policeman, one occasion. Furthermore, the accused is responsible for the... Fo <coughs> Total destruction of two fruit stalls, thereby slightly injuring three French citizens. It's a lie! In consideration of 73 offences, the court entered judgment of a fine of 2,000 francs. You shall have the money in the morning. The court further orders that the said Anne Howard, who is not a citizen of France, shall be expelled from France. She is ordered to leave within 14 days. If at the end of that period she is still on French soil, she will be removed by force. That's ridiculous. It must be ridiculous. Do you mind saying that again? She will be removed from the country by force. You remove me? We shall try. Now that is funny. I have a house here. I have friends. Do you suppose that a miserable little ferret like you can remove me? I warn you against contempt of court. Get out before I remove you. Go on, get out. a woman cry. What else can I do? Listen, unofficially and strictly entre nous, well, within the fortnight allowed you, you must marry a Frenchman. What for? You will then become a French subject and no one can touch you. The marriage will be a mere formality. Afterwards, you can seek a divorce at leisure. But would any man consent to marry you? Oh, don't be silly. Jacques Poulet, well, he's married. Raymond, he's much too fat. Oh, here we are. He proposed to me last week, but I put him off. 
He said he'd wait for me forever. Hello? Can I speak to Monsieur Duval, please? He's out. At a wedding. Who? He's own. Thank you very much. Don't give up hope. We shall find the victim yet. The Baron! But I should have thought of him at first. Hello? Is that you, Baron, darling? Now listen to me and don't argue. You've got to marry me. Straight away. What? You left Paris yesterday, but... Oh. I've got it. Hi, you. Are you married? Just come in. Ask him to come up here, will you? Easy there, easy. I wish to see Madame Anne Howard. Line up at the back of the queue. Back of the queue? What for? Yeah, you must have said. What are they talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Stand behind. Hi, you. Me? Will you come in? Madame wants to see you. Not you. <laughs> yeah, but we're together. Then here's where you park. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, tell me, uh, are you dining anywhere tonight? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not. Then you'll be very hungry tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Madame? It's you, Monsieur Gaston. This is an unexpected pleasure. Oh, Madame, you're too kind. Oh, excuse me. I, I really came today. I'm to... delighted you did. It's very fortunate. Fortunate? Listen, Gaston. How would you like to marry him? What? Will you marry me? Give me the nearest lunatic asylum. I think I'm going mad. I keep hearing things, and they're much too good to be true. They are true. You don't want me to marry you? You do want me to marry you? Excuse me, madam, but what am I to do with that crowd downstairs? They've started fighting among themselves already. Well, tell them uh, the situation is filled, and this gentleman is now signing the contract. Situation? Contract? What's all this about? Haven't you come in answer to this advertisement? What advertisement? But this, of course. You see, I have to be married as quickly as possible. To earn 10,000 francs in a month without work. Well, isn't it enough? Too much, madame. Goodbye. But Gaston! Gaston! It wasn't an answer to the advertisement. Why did you come? You told me to bring along anything you left behind in your compartment. Did I leave anything? Yes, you did. This. Good luck. 
Goodbye. Gatto. Yes? Goodbye. Have a look at that contract. Please do. Do you change your mind, Mr. Gaston? Perhaps. I'm sorry. The most important clause has been left out. What clause? The one that says the marriage is merely a formality. Oh, but that's understood. Well, let's have it in black and white, shall we? After all, business is business and pleasure is pleasure. There's no good confusing them, is there? Shall I write it in? Certainly. I want you to. You're most unselfish. Thank you. Thank you. Au revoir. Until tonight. Tonight? Why? Well, we're engaged, aren't we? Oh, but that's only a formality. We meet two weeks today at the registry office. Monsieur Gaston Bray and Madame Anne Hart. I beg your pardon. Oh, the bridegroom's late. He doesn't seem to be in any hurry, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Frankel and Mademoiselle Deschamps. Anyone here call Anne Howard? Yes, I am. A gentleman wants to speak to you. At last. <laughs> oh, there you are. Is it all over? Have you done it? Done it? What do you mean? The wedding. The nuptials. 
Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, there's uh, been a little hitch. Oh, it's hardly worth mentioning. A hitch? Only, Only the, the bridegroom. bridegroom. He, he hasn't turned up. But there's no time to lose. Your period of grace expires at noon. Well, what do you mean? It's already five minutes to twelve. In five minutes, madam is to be banished. Uh, no, in, in four minutes. How nice you look. I suppose you realize you're an hour late. You must blame my tailor, not me. I think he made a very good job of this coat, don't you? He wanted to put uh, a few brass buttons, but uh, I thought better not. I hate you, you, you pig. Goodbye. Gaston, where are you going? Come back. But you don't want to marry a pig? Please stop. On one condition. Make a happy face. Make a happy face? You're mad. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Smile. Yeah, that's more like it. Monsieur Gaston Bray and Madame Anne Howard. People. Frightful people? Who? Oh. Those two men. Oh, those two. Those are our witnesses. Our what? Our friends. That's impossible. Goodbye. Gaston. I, uh, I was only joking. Not joking? <laughs> Very funny. In the name of the Republic, we are going to read to you the articles of the Code relative to the rights and duties of husband and wife. Civil Code, Book 1, Chapter 6, Article 212. The husband and wife must be faithful and give each other every help and assistance. The husband owes protection to his wife and the wife obedience to her husband. The wife is obliged to live with her husband in such place as he finds proper to reside. The husband is obliged to furnish her all that is necessary in accordance with his state in life. <coughs> uh, Madame uh, Anne Howard, a uh, widow, uh, will you take this man to be your lawful husband? Please repeat, I will. I suppose so. Uh, <coughs> and uh, you, Monsieur uh, Gaston Bray, uh, will you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Please repeat, I will. One moment, please. I have something to say to this lady. Say, I will, darling, and say it loudly. You beastly bully. Goodbye. Stop! Darling. Much louder than that. I will, darling. And so will I.
Goodbye, Anne. Goodbye. Goodbye, Anne. Goodbye, Gaston. Goodbye, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, I always knew you had excellent taste. By the way, if that little uh, railway girl is feeding a draught, don't forget that I'm a very good consoler. <laughs> oh, Anne, he's a lucky fellow. Oh. Look at them. Just a couple of lovebirds. Good night, madame. What's wrong? I'm going home. But why? Well, you see, my union won't allow me to work after hours. Good night. But that's impossible. Our marriage is in all the papers. You'll make me the laughing stock of Paris. Besides, the servants will... Uh... Oh, Jacques. Take Monsieur's hat. Come on, my sweet. Now make a happy face. Come on, smile. <laughs> Very funny. And call me darling. Darling. Good night, madame. Good night, monsieur. Good night, Jean. Be polite. Say good night. Good night. And now say something nice to me. I suppose you know you're making me supremely happy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Turn on the radio, will you, Jenny? I may want a cold bath later. Bring that to my ring. Very good, monsieur. Well, what happens now? I think you'll find everything you want here. Hmm? Is there anything else you want? What? Yes. No, no. I want you to kiss me. Kiss you? Don't be nervous, darling. It's all in the contract. Now kiss me. Come in. Your ice water, madam. Get on with it. Can't you put a bit more feeling into it?
cigarette? More water? He was perfectly all right when he got onto my bed this morning. I know. But that's terrible. Yes, madam. Stop. What have you got there? Castor oil. Is somebody ill? Madam's dog. She swallowed a toothpick. Where is Madame? Why? In her bedroom, of course. But this is her bedroom. Oh, no. This is the spare room. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I almost forgot. I had a message for you. A message from who? From Madam. It, uh, it was something about uh, a formality. She said, uh, you'd understand. Good night.
I'll show you where I'm going. Get your friend and you can all carry each other home. Oh, it's wonderful to be together. Oh, it's wonderful. Come in. Come in. What's the time? <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Oh, 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 it's wonderful to be together. Oh, it's wonderful to be together. Are you it's going now or do you want help? You wouldn't kick a man behind his back. Simon, go home at once. Simon. 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 Simon! If you don't go quietly by yourself, I shall have to throw you out. You keep your hands to yourself, or I'll scream the place down. doing here? I think you might answer that. Might I? Yes, what am I doing? What do you think I've been doing? I'd rather not say. Oh, I know. Gaston! 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 Stop that shouting! Stop at once! Gaston! Cooey! Gaston! What's Gaston got to do with you? Well, somebody's got to chuck you out and I thought he might as well. Oh, chuck me out! You awful little peroxide blonde. Peroxide? I like that. Take a look at your own bird's nest. Oh. Get out! That's right, go on. Be common. Gaston! Where are you? Yes. Gaston, where are you? Gaston! 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 Yes. Stop making that noise! Well, make as much noise as I like.
wanted to cry. <laughs> Swearing at someone and then crying. That's the way ladies behave. I don't think much of it. Oh, stop it. Dry up, can't you? Don't touch me! <laughs> If it isn't true, may I lose my waistline and have fallen arches? Oh, you're dressed. Well, of course I am. What do you take me for? Where is Gaston? Gaston! 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 Come and look. Darling, aren't you? I can't ever thank you for making me so happy. Mm, let me give you a tip. Do you mind? Go on. Well, it's all very well to play the hen that runs away, but a wise hen doesn't run too far. She might find there was no rooster following her if she did. Get me? I get you. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. And I say, about that bird's nest, I didn't really mean it. I know. And I'm sure you never used peroxide in your life. Well, as a matter of fact, I always do. Goodbye. <laughs> Yes, a wonderful night. Your breakfast is ready, sir. Good morning. Is anything wrong with your cheek? looking for anything? Uh, no, I'm not looking for anything. Then come and sit down. Your breakfast will get cold. Oh, I forgot to ask you if you take milk, do you? Uh, two lumps, please. Sugar? No, black. I'm afraid it's tea. There is something I must ask you. Don't tell me. I can guess what it is. What? You were going to ask how soon we can get our divorce. Wasn't that it? Yes, perhaps that's what it was. As soon as possible, as far as I'm concerned. Unless you can see any reason for any delay. None. Do you? I? Good heavens, no. Oh, then we agree about something. You know, marriage on these lines isn't very exciting. No, it is not. But I can think of plenty of men who could make it so. Can you? Well, then why not get a divorce as quickly as possible and marry the lot of them? I was fool enough to believe you were a woman. You're nothing but an animated North Pole with icicles sticking out all over it. And shall I tell you what you are? I know what I am. Oh, no, you don't. You're a, 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 a common adventurer. What? A very, very common adventurer. Eating grapefruit? I haven't touched a thing. That's your fault. Oh, no, it isn't. It's that hard, icy face of yours is taking away all my appetite. What a fool I've been. What a fool. Why, the past tense. Yeah, I hate you. I hate oh, you. Oh, that's nothing compared with my loathing for you. Oh, it's loathing now, is it? It used to be love. It used to be love. You must have been dreaming. Then why have you been pestering me? I'm pestering you. It's you that have shut me up in this underheated, overventilated conservatory. Of course. You're not used to decent surroundings. You're only fit for sleeping cars, punching people's tickets and cleaning their shoes and... Oh, you rotten little snob. Wouldn't I like to give you what you're asking for? Go on, try it. <laughs> For you. Hello. Hello. Cleaning.
parking tickets, punching shoes. Is that you, Gaston? Yes, it's me. Who is it? The head conductor's been combing Paris for you. So he came to me? He came to me. All oh, right, he, he came, came to us. us. You see, the passengers, the female ones, have never stopped complaining since you left. Oh, the ladies miss me, do they? The point is, your job's still open. If you want it. If I want it? What? Yes, but why tomorrow? Why not today? Why not now? The train goes in half an hour. All right, I'll start at once. You bet I'll be in time. <laughs> Why not? Because, because you can't. What about my buttons? Oh, no, your buttons. I love you. You love me? You said you love me?